When I lost my job as a researcher, it made me dig deep and I sourced inspiration from my heritage and you know the social political issues of water were just so loud and in my face so I did work on that. I mean, what I do, you know, in as much as I document people and their struggle of what in my community, I also feel like I'm doing some sort of photographic protest. I am seeking justice. I'm trying to make my voice loud. I'm putting myself in the newspapers and telling my story. The life of a creative is one that is lived in isolation. And that is why there is need now more than ever for community, for us to come together, to share our stories, to motivate each other, to learn from each other, to feed off each other's energy. And that is a key takeaway from the Future Leaders Lab. I think what I enjoyed most from the lab was being able to connect people from different parts of the world. I really did enjoy the sessions when we were in person just because I think it was really nice to just be able to chat and get to know each other as people rather than artists. Uh, it just was really nice to be able to get to know everyone. It's amazing how talking can be a lifeline for an artist. A talk can harness and sharpen a person's creative practice in ways you wouldn't have predicted, you know? They say information changes situation. And in as much as I would praise talking to the participants in Future Leaders Lab and hearing their shared stories, but I must say, I enjoy the guest speakers the most because they contextualize things. Learning about trusting your consciousness when making creative decisions, the idea of social infrastructure, and you know, romanticizing black gardens and their significance. It's like, wow, what a beautiful world. I know now that my story is mine and my reality is mine. There is no running away from it. There is no hiding from it. I can only embrace it and use it to fuel my purpose, you know. I think initially when hearing about the three different themes I thought well, they were so broad and I thought how are we going to you know, talk about them individually but I think having each place to a different theme really honed it in and made it really interesting. It was my first time being introduced to the concept called future heritage. At the same time I could identify with the notion of making the past relevant today finding justice for historical crimes because the past isn't really dead. Our energies in the present time can resurface the past in order to forge future perspectives. When I think of future resilience, I think of defiance. I think of the strength of numbers of community. I think of I think of looking for ingenious ways to create despite obstacles. I think of strength. It meant I got to hear from artists that I wouldn't have heard from before and really opened my eyes to different practices and different ways about thinking about these things like the future heritage, climate justice and resilient futures. I think even though we're online, it was really easy to see everyone as individuals when people would contribute and people would share their ideas and see what things we had in common. And even when we were put in breakout rooms, I really liked just speaking in smaller groups because it just made it a lot more personal. Being part of the lab opened my eyes to understanding who I am as a person and what my story is and also listening to facilitators and other members of the lab also showed me how connected we are and how strong our stories are and so I take away my story of self um, knowing better who I am knowing better what drives me what I could take away from being part of Future Leaders Lab is build a community a 
make socially conscious art. Well, I think what I'll take away from it is that there's so many different people doing so many creative things all over the world. Sometimes I think it can be quite lonely being creative, but it makes you think that there's many people out there who are doing amazing things, but also understand what it is like to be creative and how difficult it can be to kind of know what to do. So I think it makes me feel less alone.